Hey, Gary here with you. This is day one of blogging with AI, creating a blog with ChatGPT, letting ChatGPT do the heavy lifting, create the content, and without really editing it other than to just to make sure that it makes sense, of course, playing editor and reading it, I'm going to let the AI write everything based upon the input that I feed it, based upon my research and the research that it helps me with. But understand that I'll be using a tool called Rank IQ because I want the data to be real based on research outside of AI. Because simply at this point, AI, specifically ChatGPT, because it doesn't know other than what it knows based upon the data that has been backfilled with since like 2022 or 2021, I think. It doesn't know the competition and the time it ranks. And that's what Rank IQ is going to give me. And this is not a review of Rank IQ, but the idea here is I'm going to build, be building a blog about space, facts about space. You can see here, there's 239 keyword phrases from this tool that give me the competition, the yearly visits, and the time to rank. Again, not about Rank IQ. I will dive more into that as we move along, but understand that this is where I'm getting the information to build the blog. But ChatGPT is going to do the lifting when it comes to giving me ideas or assisting me with the idea that I've come up with to build a blog using the content that I get from the input that I provide ChatGPT. So starting with come up with five blog names for facts and questions about space. You can see the first five. I go into give me variations. I say again, I say give me one word variations. Use question in the title again. And then I landed on this one, Universe Unriddled meaning of universe unriddled. I'm simply asking, I'm questioning the AI and saying, I like this, I like this idea, I like this title, but let's dive a little deeper into it. Universe unriddled, which is the name I have settled on, is a creative combination of two words, universe and unriddled. The term universe referring to the vast expanse, the vast expanse of space and its celestial bodies, while unriddled means to solve or explain a riddle or mystery the mysteries of the universe unriddled or solved. In the context of a blog title, Universe Unriddled suggests a focus on answering questions, unraveling mysteries, and exploring the unknown aspects of the universe. Then I did actually ask it for some input here. Again, I am using the suggestions or the keyword phrases from Rank IQ in the niche space, but I did ask it or I asked ChatGPT, what are some of the top questions for Universe Unriddled? And it did give me a few top questions. And then I talked about what I want the goal of the blog to be. The blog has to be in layman's terms. Can you answer these questions at that level and cite sources for the information you provide? And it dove into a little bit about those questions and how it would answer them as a layman, meaning very simplistic terms. And then I clicked on a few of these links, but you can see here is the main problem. And this is why I like Koala. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my Koala review that I've done recently when you're watching this playlist. Again, this playlist is going to be released sort of in the middle or at the very end. This is April 15th, 2023, day one. And you can see here that I am in ChatGPT and that was a 404. It did answer the questions. I did enjoy that. I told it that was good. It could stop for now. And then I asked it, what are some good categories for the blog? And it came up with the one or the first category that I've created and the one I'm going to be focused on for a while, astronomy basics, providing educational resources and easy to understand explanations of essential astronomy concepts and terms. These videos are going to be basically unedited as I walk you through what I'm doing step by step. So pause, rewind, ask questions in the comments once these videos are released and I will answer or make a follow up video of this case study. So again, here are the tools, Rank IQ, ChatGPT, Groove, and Groove Blog. I've done some setup 
off camera and I'll try to do as much on camera as I can. But what I did is I went in and I set up the blog as simply as clicking create new blog, blog name, subdomain. And I'm starting with the subdomain here for Universe Unriddled. I will be connecting universeunriddled.com through Namecheap. I bought universeunriddled.com through Namecheap. I also used the logo maker, which I'll show you here. A few of my existing logos. I make quite a few of my logos, if not all of my logos, through here. And you can see Universe Unriddled. Here is my logo. Go back to the blog. Here you can see that logo being done right there. That's all under settings, under the logo. I simply just added that logo. Here's the domains. This is where I eventually will be setting up the domain, Universe Unriddled. But I got to figure out how they're doing this and the thinking or the thought process, either, either to just point the folder domain.com slash blog, create a slash blog, meaning I can then use Universe Unriddled inside of group pages to create other pages around that blog, kind of like you do in WordPress with posts and pages. That would be what, that's what group blog would allow me to do here. Or I could just publish universeunriddled.com straight to the domain or to the blog. If you were to go back to the home and you were to open the blog, oh, you can't visit the site here. So I'll open the blog and then I'll click visit blog and then you'll be able to see what I have right now. What I have right now is again, universeunriddled.groovblog.com. Eventually this will be universeunriddled.com. And this is what the blog looks like right now. I did write one post. Go ahead and click on that. And that image as well, by the way, that image is coming from the free images inside of Groove. I may or may not venture outside of Groove to get those free images. I think it's just connecting to a repository like Unsplash or Pixabay or something like that. But here is the blog post, simple trick, how to memorize the planets in order. Go back to Rank IQ. And if you go back to the reports that I've ran, you can see here the first one I'm doing is how to memorize the planets. Click on the report and you'll see the power of Rank IQ. Rank IQ gives you a content target grading as well as how long it's going to take in the competition to rank. They give you some analysis here for what Google wants to see as far as words. And then the title, they have the analysis here. This is the title that I came up with. Again, I came up with this. I didn't go back to chat GPT. In the future, I may do that just to see if it can help me out. But you can see I got the grade here inside of Rank IQ. It gives me the top ranking titles as well as the highest grading content in the SERPs that you can then check out. But what I did at that point is I take all of this information and I go back to chat GPT in this case, and I'm going to show you Koala in a minute. I'm going to be using Koala mostly when I do product roundups, but also I'm going to try to set up a system where I do like every fifth or 10th blog post because I'm going to have a hundred posts over a hundred days. So it'll be a hundred days, give or take, but to get to a hundred blog posts, maybe some days I can do more. Create a blog post outline for simple trick, how to memorize the planets in order for or with the main keyword being how to memorize the planets. Again, going back to rank IQ, this is the keyword phrase that I'm going for. This is the title that I created using the title grader, using the title analysis that it did, topics, Google likes and titles, simple trick, how to memorize the planets. You can see I nailed planets order to in and how. Simple wasn't here, so I could probably make that better, but I got A plus and I got 50 characters, which is perfect. So I took that back and I simply just said, create a blog post outline for the topic, simple trick, how to memorize the planet in orders with the main keyword, being how to memorize the planets and be sure to include all these keywords. Again, all these keywords came from Rank IQ, content analysis, top topics, Google likes and posts, or the keywords that they like to see based upon the analysis of all the blog posts that are ranking. So I'm telling ChatGPT to create a outline based upon all this information. Then it comes up with the outline, the title that I gave it, comes up with an introduction, section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, and a conclusion. There are the keywords that it hit. 
then what I'm telling it, I'm telling ChatGPT to write using a hypnotic structure or writing style. So using a hypnotic Nickelodeon style, I used that to sort of target kids or a younger demographic, I think is the angle that I want to take with most of this information at a fifth grade reading level with or at a fifth grade reading level and write section two memory techniques to remember the planets because this is the keyword I'm going for. And then you can see here, I basically just took this. Then I wrote section one, basic facts about the planets in their order. I went back to rank IQ, which has a content optimizer and I posted what I got from chat GPT and what I added into the blog. You can see I have a B minus simply because I haven't hit the word yet. And you can come over here and you can see the keywords that are unused. I haven't hit all of these keywords that rank IQ is saying that the top ranking post collectively, they covered or they mentioned these phrases or keywords. So I'll come back and I'll make sure that I hit all of these points inside of this outline. But right now I've just wrote or have written section one and section two. And if you go back to the blog, you can see that here. And if I publish that, you can see this is what the blog looks like right now. This is simply the post. I simply just went into the blog here under post and I simply just opened the editor and I posted in that content from chat GPT that it wrote. And I did, like I said, I read it and made sure it makes sense. The only thing I actually changed here was where it said all right, future astronomers, or I said all right, future astronomers. Now that you've memorized the planets in order, are you ready to take a trip through our amazing solar system? Because chat GPT, when it wrote section two, it said, Hey there space explorers. Or no, that was the first section when it wrote section one. It said, welcome future astronomers. Are you ready to take a trip? Well, I already welcomed them when I said, hey, they're space explorers. So when I said, hey, they're space explorers. And then I covered the memory technique first because that is the point or that is the title. So I wanted to hit that first. And then I wanted to dive deeper into more facts to basically, for lack of a better way to say it, pad the article with the topics that rank IQ is telling me will work best and will rank me the fastest and get the traffic that I'm looking for, for this keyword phrase, basically like, or my thought process is answer the main query, which I also use for the post slug, how to memorize the planets, memory techniques to remember the planets. And then basically keep reading, as you can see here, reach for the stars. And then I might have chat GPT in the future, or I may add here, and say, keep reading to learn more facts, keep exploring that type of thing, try to keep that space theme as I move along. But I will be exploring Koala and Koala Rider as well. Koala Rider has a usage limit based upon the uh, lifetime plan that I'm using. So I'll limit that most likely because I want to use chat GPT four. And for every 1500 words, that's going to chew up 7,500 words when I use chat GPT. But again, this is Koala Rider is based on chat GPT. It's connected to the API. So it's the same output, just utilizing their API interface that they provide you here inside of Koala Rider. So that's where I am at day one. Hope this makes sense. And day two, by the time you watch this video, we'll be here in the cards. Click that, keep watching, see the progress that I made, see the hurdles, the roadblocks, all that good stuff. In this case study, 100 days of using AI, chat GPT specifically to create this blog and posting the blog on Grooveblog and seeing how Google likes all of this stuff together and see what I got after we get to the end of this 100 days together. Talk to you later. Bye. That video there. Check it out.